welcome back to town hall. Um, we just went through a few updates. Uh, MetaMask, we have 20K users. We're doing an event in Miami, April 8th. Um, mostly fixing bugs still, working on dark mode updates. Um, if you haven't updated your mobile app yet, um, there was a build that went out a few days ago. So make sure you update that on iOS or Android if you haven't already. That will help fix a lot of the, the little bugs that you may have been experiencing. Um, we are going to be updating also, like I mentioned, the meetings and live streaming. Um, we're also updating the DSO um, sending, and then soon you'll be able to buy DSO as well. Um, but you're going to be able to actually send DSO to other users, and then we're updating this so you can actually paste in a wallet as well to make it even easier. Um, that's all gonna be done possibly even by tomorrow. Um, we're also going to be pushing out um, release notes. What we're gonna start doing is actually sharing these out. So every single time we publish um, a new version of the app, we're gonna be pushing out release notes. It's gonna look something like this, but I think we're gonna clean this up to make it even simpler. Um, and you'll be able to see all the bug fixes. So this is this is what we did, did the last week. So here are literally all the UI <laughs> feature enhancements uh, and bug fixes that we've done in the last week. This is just on web. So there's a ton of little things that we're doing that um, might be a little bit behind the scenes, but um, there's a bunch of things that we're fixing all the time, every single week, especially these next two weeks, we're pumping out stuff. Um, and if you guys see anything, if you have any issues, like let us know because we're trying to fix everything in the next two weeks, um, basically. And the goal is to pretty much launch um, Entra 3.0, the week of the 11th now, uh, I think we'll we'll have everything done. So tentatively, that's the week. Um, obviously, things got delayed. We completely pushed out you know, a whole dark mode on all devices, which took a lot of time. And then we've just been fixing a lot of little things. Is there a way to connect to our current Entra account? So soon you will be able to do that, uh, Hybert. Right now, you're only able to do basically transactions on the app with DSO, right? You're only able to support creators with DSO. You're only able to do things with DSO. Um, so there's really no benefit of you using MetaMask in any way right now. The point of MetaMask currently is for people to use it as an authentication. Um, if they don't have a DSO wallet, or they don't have a DSO account, but they want to stay anonymous or they want to stay web three and they want their profile to be on chain and not give their email or anything. Um, so it allows other web three uh, people in web three to sign up and log in with a MetaMask without having to connect the DSO account um, or, or do that uh, or create a DSO account. Um, Later, yes, you will be able to basically, like our goal is on your Entra account, you'd be able to select whatever different wallet you wanted to use, basically. Um, it becomes a little bit tricky because technically whatever wallet you connect, that would be the wallet, that would be your profile that you're using. Um, but there might be a way in the future that if you um, have an account you would be able to switch between different wallets. Um, it's going to get pretty like uh, messy, um, but it's something that I think is going to be possible. Um, if not, what we will end up doing, and this kind of depends on how sophisticated the DSO blockchain gets and how many things that we're able to do with it. Um, but there's a good chance that you'll be able to uh, everything on the front end you'll be able to do in any currency and everything on the blockchain level we'll, we're going to be doing in the, on the back end with DSO. Um, so we'll see. Um, right now our goal is to 
like make it as easy as possible for anyone to join Entra, being able to sign up with any account like really that they want, meaning Apple, Google, if they don't care about being Web3 or DSO, if they already have a DSO account, that's really easy. And if they don't already have a DSO account, so they don't have to go through the long DSO onboarding, they can just sign in with MetaMask and still be Web3. So that's kind of like our whole focus right now. Um, we're gonna be updating, modifying it and making it better over time. And we're open to suggestions and ideas on how to make it better. But right now that's kind of how we're rolling with it. Um, I'm not and we sure also have it, the option down the road to connect to your Coinbase as well. Yeah, I mean, that that's one of the things that we have been talking about next. Um, the way that we look at it, though, is same thing. If, if we're just using Coinbase for authentication, like almost everyone who has a Coinbase account probably has a MetaMask too. So there's not going to really be an added benefit of using a Coinbase wallet yet. What we will be able to do is when you do connect to your wallet, eventually you'll just be able to display your NFTs on your profile. You'll be able to do transactions with whatever wallet you have connected, whether it's ETH or Solana or whatever, um, or DSO. Um, it, it's just going to show, like you'll be able to display the stuff that's on your wall, in your wallet. You'll be able to, people will be able to see basically your on-chain profile or tasks you've done for the community or things that you've accomplished on your wallet as well as basically be able to transact with that currency that you want. Um, so that's really like the main, the main premise is like right now there's not really an added benefit of, of using um, Coinbase over MetaMask for the most part, unless there's a lot of people that we find that would like to use Coinbase to sign up. But I think most people who do already have a MetaMask as well. Um, okay, I don't know, Juan, did I, I miss anything on the product side of things um, or anything else that you wanna note that people should uh, check out um, or pay attention to? Uh, no, not really. I mean, we were, like you said, working more on like organizational stuff, um, polishing up like the previous features that we released, fixing bugs, making sure everything's stable. And yeah, uh, I think we are all good with the updates. Okay, cool. Sean, Miriam, anything that, anything that you guys wanna add? Uh, like I said in the room chat, uh, like we said, we're just trying to catch every bug issue going on in the platform at the moment, trying to fix all that stuff out. So you can either DM any of us, all the DMs are open, or you can join our Discord. I'll drop the link in there as well. And uh, other than that, I think, oh, I've got a DSO demo day next Tuesday. So looking forward to that. I'll have that posted out tomorrow. Cool. Yeah, we'll be doing, we're going to be doing more of those to highlight other people building in uh, the DSO community. Um, I think we'll also be potentially doing more stuff just with Web3 companies as a whole. Um, we are going to be definitely looking to talk to and work with and partner with as many Web3 companies and founders and entrepreneurs as possible. So if you guys have any ideas about that, um, let us know. And um, yeah, I, we're kind of like, this is like the calm before the storm. So we really appreciate all of, all of you um, hanging out here with us, being a part of this over the last, like the last few months has just been, I mean, it's been one of those things where it's like, you know, it's, um, it's tough because like we want to push this hard, but we can't. Um, so, uh, you know, we appreciate you guys bearing with us in like this kind of like slow period because things are about to get pretty wild and we're gonna be pushing things heavily. And um, there'll be a lot of new people coming on. There'll be a lot of new faces. Um, and yeah, we're gonna, you know, 
try to do as much as we can to support all of you who have been here with us for, you know, at the beginning here. Um, some of you have been with us for a, a while too, um, but yeah, um, just, just wanted to say that uh, for the partnerships, yeah. So there's a few things, right? We can add, well, one of the things that we want to do is definitely add more uh, Web3 and crypto companies to our deals and discount section. So if you know of any Web3 platform software services, right, that would be interested in getting listed here and, and sharing um, a discount uh, with our community, then that that's definitely one big partnership. The other partnership would be like getting their jobs listed on our board. So any Web3 crypto companies, uh, blockchain companies that are hiring or looking for certain positions, let's get them listed there. Um, the other thing would be getting them involved with our events, right? So as we start doing events here in Austin, Miami, virtual, whatever, if they're trying to do events and attract a Web3 audience, then it's going to make sense for us to partner with them. So it's kind of a combination of all of those things. The other thing is we are going to be rolling out community soon. We are going to be demoing that very soon for community organizers and also for companies. We want to be an alternative to Slack and Discord. We want people to be able to build, be able to build their team communication infrastructure through Entra. We don't want people to have to pay for Slack and Zoom and all these other platforms and software anymore. We believe that we have a better product. We're going to be building a better product. It's going to be way more affordable, way easier, and it's going to be much more helpful for especially startups and companies in Web3 to be able to build out their teams, build out their communities and everything through us. So those are a few key things that, you know, we're going to be looking for, for partnerships. It's going to be a lot of different angles. Um, you know, we, we were kind of moving slightly away from this like startup partnerships kind of thing into more of a web three partnerships. So we definitely want to start aligning ourselves with other well-known crypto brands and figure out how we can partner with them and do the most with them. Um, a lot of these companies are starting to do some corporate events and things as well. Um, if we can get, if we can get all these young emerging crypto brands, companies, communities, organizations to start building here, doing their meetings here, building out the communities here, their teams here, doing all their meetings, virtual events, in-person events, all of that, creating content here, earning crypto, paying people in crypto, hiring people. I mean, it's going to be next level. So that's what we're excited about. Um, this is all coming um, in the next, you know, few weeks, couple months. Um, by June, we're going to, I'd be very surprised if we didn't have 100,000 users by June. Um, and there the network effects will start taking place. So, um, you know, we're excited. Like you guys are all kind of like getting, you know, behind the scenes and like, um, you know, very interesting, interesting look at things using it before, um, before things really take off. But if you guys have ideas, if there's things that we're, we could do, be doing better, if there's things that are breaking on the app, if it's not working properly for you, if you'd like to see certain features, if you want to see, you know, whatever, if you want us to do certain events or anything, let us know. We're taking all ideas. We want all of you to feel like you're heard and that you can talk to us about things and you can share your thoughts with us. Um, obviously not all of them we're going to, you know, do and implement, but like, we want you to still feel like you're part of this. So I think we're good. Um, do you guys have anything else? I don't know if anyone else has any questions. I hope Kathleen that made sense with your, your partnerships and stuff. And Kathleen, you should try to come down to Miami too. Um, April 8th or that weekend. It'd be great to meet you. Um, and anyone else that's around the South Florida area, that'd be awesome. And I think um, that's all I wanted to cover. Any, you guys got anything else, anything I missed? Um, we're also gonna start putting together and organizing these uh, town halls a lot better with the release notes. So basically on Mondays, everyone's gonna get the release notes 
And then we will also send out uh, within the uh, recap video, kind of like the highlights and notes from town hall as well and questions and stuff that were asked and answered so that everyone gets like, even if you miss a town hall, you can catch everything that you need to in the recording. And in the notes. And in the notes. <laughs> All right, everyone. Sure. Well, have a great uh, week. Have a great rest of your Monday. Um, make some money. Have some fun this week. And let us know how we can help. See y'all soon. If you'd like to connect and network with other like-minded people, entrepreneurs, investors, freelancers, and startups, check out our app or go to our website, joinentra.com. Thank you so much for being a part of our community. If there's anything that we can do to help you, please reach out to us and let us know.